Get ready for an extraordinary journey through life in the Holland. Today, we will uncover the most fascinating aspects of this country that exudes festivity. We'll explore its vibrant nightlife, cuisine, stunning natural landscapes, its carnival, and the incredible engineering behind life below sea level. Furthermore, we will unveil its majestic cities like Amsterdam and Rotterdam. We will also get to know notable figures like Anne Frank, who found refuge to escape the Nazis. Join us in this video and discover all these charms and much more! Did you know that the official name of the Holland is not actually Holland? It's Netherlands. That's right. Many people refer to the country as Holland, but the official name is Netherlands, encompassing 12 provinces, including the two provinces of North Holland and South Holland. Provinces are subdivisions of a country, similar to states, but with less autonomy. Additionally, believe it or not, for those who were not born in the regions of North Holland and South Holland, it may be considered offensive to be called Hollander. The country is named this way due to its geographical location, with 26% of its territory below sea level. This unique geographical feature played a fundamental role in the history of the Netherlands, leading to the construction of iconic windmills in the past. These windmills had the important function of pumping water and grinding grains. Today, the presence of these windmills continues to be a significant part of Dutch identity, reminding us of the constant relationship between the country and the challenge of low altitude in relation to sea level. As of the 2023 estimate, the population of the Netherlands is 17.7 million people. With an area of 41,526 square kilometers, the country is situated in northwestern Europe, bordered by the North Sea to the north and west, resulting in an extensive coastline. To the east, it borders Germany, and to the south, Belgium. The official language is Dutch, but English is widely spoken, making the city extremely accessible for foreign visitors. Amsterdam is the capital of the Netherlands, known as the Venice of the North, due to its more than 100 canals stretching over a network of 75 kilometers. The city is a true water labyrinth and boasts a surprising number of over 1,500 bridges, surpassing even Venice in this regard. Here, you'll find Amsterdam's narrowest house, measuring only 2.02 meters in width, a curiosity that reflects the unique character of this city. The history of Amsterdam dates back to 1275, when it was founded as a modest waterfront fishing settlement. Today, the city is one of the world's most popular destinations, attracting over 18 million visitors annually. Amsterdam is also the birthplace of talented artists, including Vincent van Gogh, Rembrandt, and Anne Frank, whose cultural contributions are celebrated in the city. In addition to its rich cultural heritage, Amsterdam is a major financial center, housing the world's oldest stock exchange. The city is served by two international airports, Schiphol and Lelystad, making travel to and from Amsterdam convenient. The city is a true mecca for cyclists, with over 15,000 kilometers of bike paths, encouraging the use of bicycles as a sustainable mode of transportation. Rembrandt's house, the former residence of the renowned painter Rembrandt van Rijn, is now a museum dedicated to the life and work of the artist, including some of his most famous paintings. We cannot fail to mention the Anne Frank House, a historic site that preserves the secret annex where Anne Frank and her family hid from the Nazis during World War II. This location holds profound historical significance and bears witness to the Holocaust. In the heart of the Netherlands, an extraordinary area unfolds with its rich history and natural beauty. The storm surge barrier in the Netherlands is truly a marvel. Located in the Eastern Scheldt estuary, this imposing structure stands out for its impressive combination of form and function. Designed to protect the region from floods and storm surges, it blends seamlessly with the natural landscape. Its massive gates open and close in perfect harmony with weather conditions, 
a choreographed dance of engineering and nature. This masterpiece not only defends the Netherlands, but also captivates the world with its brilliance and beauty. In spring, an iconic color palette unfolds before your eyes. Dutch fields bloom with tulips in full splendor, creating a vibrant mosaic that stretches as far as the eye can see. The Netherlands is renowned for the production of tulips and other flower bulbs, and the cities of Kuchenhof and Lisa become pilgrimage destinations for admirers of natural beauty from all corners of the world. And in The Hague, an iconic building stands, the Peace Palace. This monument of neo-Renaissance architecture houses the International Court of Justice, the primary judicial organ of the United Nations, and the permanent court of arbitration. It is a visual manifestation of the global commitment to peace and the peaceful resolution of conflicts. Along the banks of the Zaan River, the Zaanse Shans windmills tell stories of Dutch history. These windmills were used to grind grains and drain water from swamps in the past, and today, they are a fundamental symbol of Dutch culture and history. In Ossenzeil, in the province of Friesland, the Waterstaite Ossenzeil Holiday Resort offers a luxury retreat amidst nature. The well-equipped villas provide stunning views of the canals and lagoons of the region, making it a perfect destination for those who love tranquility and the natural beauty of Friesland. In winter, frozen lakes transform into ski trails, offering a unique ice skating experience. It's a surprising spectacle. Sailing through the Friesland region, you'll come across the Lemmer Marina with its modern facilities and high-quality services. It's an ideal starting point for sailors looking to explore the lakes and canals of the area, while the town of Lemmer, with its waterfront houses and waterside restaurants, offers a glimpse into Frisian culture and hospitality. Maastricht, a gem in the south of the Netherlands, invites you to stroll its cobblestone streets and explore its rich history. It was here that the Maastricht Treaty gave birth to the European Union. Just outside Maastricht, about 10 kilometers away in the town of Valkenburg, you'll find Valkenburg Castle, whose ruins preserve traces of a 12th century castle, immersing you in the medieval history of the region. Now, imagine a serene place, Sterrenbos, a circular park in the Netherlands where majestic trees surround picturesque trails, providing a peaceful retreat for nature lovers. And for a touch of seaside fun, Scheveningen Beach in The Hague offers an extensive stretch of golden sand, perfect for sunbathing and water sports. Its iconic pier features restaurants, bars, and a panoramic Ferris wheel that offers stunning views of the coastline and the North Sea. Finally, Har Castle, an imposing 14th century Gothic fortress located in Haarlemmermeer, reveals itself as an architectural gem. With a splendid neo-Gothic style restoration in the 19th century, the castle now unfolds as a captivating museum open to the public. Its majestic towers, bridges, and halls offer visitors a rare glimpse into history and architecture, making it a must-visit destination to explore the cultural richness of the region. Dutch cuisine is a fascinating fusion of European culinary traditions, maritime influences, and an authentic flavor palette that reveals the country's cultural richness. One example is Stampot, a typically Dutch creation that combines hearty mashed potatoes with vegetables like kale or carrots, often accompanied by sausages or bacon. It's a comforting dish, especially beloved in colder months. On the other hand, bitterballen, tiny crispy balls of dough, conceal a creamy filling of meat or shrimp sauce inside. Served hot and generously dipped in mustard, these Dutch delicacies are irresistible snacks. The delightful stroopwafel is a charming dessert consisting of two thin waffles hugging a caramel syrup filling. Tradition dictates that it should be placed on top of a cup of coffee or tea, allowing the heat to melt the filling, creating a cozy and sweet flavor. It's a beloved treat both in the Netherlands and around the world. Pannenkuchen, similar to thin crepes, 
are Dutch pancakes that can be a main dish with bacon or apples, or a dessert with syrup or powdered sugar, a delicacy enjoyed throughout the country. As for fricandel, it's a seasoned minced meat sausage that is fried and often served in a bun with sauces and condiments, providing a tasty and quick snack. During New Year's festivities, Oli Bowl, small deep-fried balls of dough dusted with powdered sugar, are a traditionally Dutch delight that captures palates with its sweet and enjoyable flavor. Last but not least, kibbling, composed of small pieces of white fish, typically cod, breaded and fried to crispy perfection, is often served with garlic sauce or mayonnaise, making it a beloved street food throughout the Netherlands. Thus, Dutch cuisine reveals its diversity and flavor in each dish, reflecting the country's rich cultural heritage. In the Netherlands, culture and traditional festivals hold a special place. Koningsdag, or King's Day, is a national celebration held on April 27th in honor of King Willem Alexander's birthday. Streets come alive with festive events, street fairs, and live music, while people dress in orange, the color of the royal family, and engage in activities like selling used items, games, and parties across the country. Carnival in the Netherlands is a lively celebration, especially in the southern regions like Limburg and Brabant. It usually takes place before Lent in February or March, with float parades, colorful costumes, and street parties. Cities adorn themselves in carnival colors, and people dress up, sing, dance, and celebrate with great enthusiasm, showcasing the country's cultural diversity. The Netherlands is also famous for its electronic music scene, and Mysteryland is an emblematic event in this scene. Held in Haarlemmermeer, the festival attracts electronic music enthusiasts from around the world, offering a unique experience with international DJs, spectacular performances, and interactive art installations amidst the natural beauty of the Netherlands. Another musical highlight is the Lowlands Festival, held in Biddinghuizen. This event draws a diverse crowd of music and culture enthusiasts, with an eclectic lineup covering various genres like rock, electronic, and hip-hop. In addition to live music, Lowlands offers theatrical performances, visual art, and interactive activities, celebrating creativity and cultural diversity amidst the stunning Dutch landscape. As a liberal and tolerant country, the Netherlands reflects these values in its nightlife. Women enjoy complete freedom to choose their clothing and behavior without fear of judgment or harassment. Nightlife is characterized by its vibrant diversity, attracting people of all ages and backgrounds. The friendly and welcoming atmosphere of Dutch nightlife is recognized, as well as the wide variety of options for nighttime entertainment. In Amsterdam, nightlife is rich and diverse, providing memorable experiences for all tastes. The city's coffee shops like the Bulldog are popular destinations. As for pubs and clubs, the city does not disappoint. Paradiso is a live music venue and nightclub with an eclectic program in two spaces. The venue has been open since 1968 and has hosted performances by world-renowned artists such as Jimi Hendrix, The Rolling Stones, The Beatles, and David Bowie. Meanwhile, Melkweg offers a blend of music, dance, and the arts. For electronic music enthusiasts, D School is one of the most respected clubs, providing unforgettable nights. Amsterdam truly has something for nightlife enthusiasts of all kinds. In Rotterdam, the second largest city in the Netherlands, nightlife is also vibrant, and the city's pubs and clubs do not disappoint. Worm is an independent cultural center founded in 1982, offering a variety of programs and activities, including exhibitions, performances, workshops, and lectures. Barug is a legendary underground music club founded in 1983 and is known for its diverse programming, including punk, hardcore, metal, rock, and other forms of underground music. Meanwhile, Bird is famous for its jazz and soul music programming. For an electronic music experience, Toffler is a popular choice. 
The diversity of Rotterdam's nightlife ensures that everyone can find the perfect spot for a memorable night out. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of incredible Netherlands. If you liked this video and want to continue exploring the world with us, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, leave your comments below. We want to hear your stories, experiences, and suggestions for future videos. Together, let's keep discovering the treasures of our planet.